Okay, uh, we're going to go to Windows. This might be a little bit off. There we go. Devices. Add Bluetooth. And I'm pretty sure we're going to want to do everything else. So you're going to put it into seat mode with the lights flashing. Actually, I think it's going to be the other one. Let's try this. It's going to be Bluetooth. Unknown device. Okay, let me, let me try this again. Hold on. I've already charged it. If you get a new one, charge it. There we go. All right. You want to hold the uh, share button and the PlayStation button for about 10 seconds. Three seconds, something like that. And then we're going to connect. And we're connected now. I'm going to be using um, play PS Remote Play. So there's a key to that. It's probably not going to immediately recognize this thing as a dual sense controller as of this recording. So what we're going to want to do is you're going to need to use um, some software called REWAST, which is right here. We're going to need to go into this. You can Google it, REWAST. And, yep, dual sense. All right. You might see it pop up here on the left side. If so, that's a good thing. And then what we're going to need to do is remap it. So, PS4 Remote Play, we could do that. We could try that out. I'm not sure if that'll work, but. And then you're going to hit Apply. I, I think this might have been a preset. There we go. It might have been a preset. Basically, what it's going to do is it's going to remap your DualSense as a, P, as a DualShock 4 controller, which there is currently not a Windows driver for, which sucks because um, there is PlayStation 5 Remote Play, which is what I'm going to be using. So, But again, it's R-E-W-A-S-D, um, and we should be good to go.